Imagine a day that begins like any other. The sun is shining, birds are singing, and people are going about their daily lives. Suddenly, a blinding flash of light fills the sky. This is not the sun. This is a nuclear detonation. Within seconds, a massive fireball engulfs the target, vaporizing everything in its immediate vicinity. A shockwave races outward at supersonic speeds, flattening buildings and turning concrete into dust. The heat is unimaginable, setting fire to anything flammable for miles around. Those close to the blast are instantly incinerated. Others suffer horrific burns and injuries from the intense heat and flying debris. The lucky ones are far enough away to survive the initial blast, but their ordeal is far from over. The air is thick with smoke, dust, and radioactive fallout. Survivors emerge from the rubble, dazed and disoriented, their world forever changed. This is the terrifying reality of nuclear war, a nightmare scenario that threatens the very existence of humanity. At the heart of this terrifying scenario lies the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM. These weapons travel thousands of miles, carrying nuclear warheads with unimaginable destructive power. ICBMs are launched from silos or submarines patrolling the ocean depths. They streak through the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds towards their target. Detecting and tracking these missiles is a race against time. The U.S. relies on space-based infrared satellites to scan for missile launches. Early warning systems provide crucial minutes for decision makers. The system is not foolproof. False alarms and technical malfunctions create a risk of miscalculation. The fate of millions depends on the accuracy of technology and judgment. In her chilling book, The Pentagon's Brain, investigative journalist Annie Jacobson delves into the secretive world of nuclear war planning and the terrifying capabilities of modern weaponry. She warns of the devastating consequences of nuclear conflict, emphasizing the urgent need for diplomacy and disarmament. Jacobson writes, the destructive power of a single nuclear weapon is beyond comprehension. Her words serve as a stark reminder of the stakes involved in the nuclear age. The picture she paints is one of constant vigilance, technological complexity, and the ever-present risk of human error. Jacobson's work serves as a wake-up call, reminding us that the threat of nuclear war is not a relic of the Cold War, but a clear and present danger. Let us imagine, for a moment, the unthinkable, a nuclear attack on the heart of American military power, the Pentagon. A blinding flash, followed by an ear-splitting roar, would signal the beginning of a nightmare. The massive concrete structure, a symbol of American might, would be instantly vaporized. Thousands of military personnel and civilian employees, going about their daily routines, would perish in an instant. The surrounding area, including residential neighborhoods and national landmarks, would be reduced to rubble. The Potomac River would boil, bridges would collapse, and fires would rage across the city. The air would be thick with radioactive dust and debris, making it impossible to breathe without protection. The once familiar landscape of the nation's capital would be transformed into a smoldering, radioactive wasteland. Unthinkable aftermath, radiation, fallout, and nuclear winter. The immediate devastation of a nuclear attack is only the beginning of the horror. In the aftermath, Survivors would face a multitude of threats, each more insidious than the last. Radiation sickness, a silent killer, would claim countless lives in the days, weeks, and months to come. Radioactive fallout, carried by the wind, would contaminate vast areas, poisoning water supplies and making food sources unsafe. Hospitals, already overwhelmed by the initial casualties, would be ill-equipped to deal with the sheer number of radiation victims. On a global scale, the consequences would be equally dire. The massive release of soot and debris into the atmosphere could trigger a nuclear winter, blocking out the sun and plunging the planet into a prolonged period of darkness and cold. Crops would fail, ecosystems would collapse, and famine would spread across the globe. Sections, a world on fire. The global consequences of nuclear war. The use of nuclear weapons, even on a limited scale, would have devastating consequences that extend far beyond the immediate blast zones. The interconnectedness of our globalized world means that a nuclear conflict anywhere would have ripple effects everywhere. International trade would grind to a halt as fear and uncertainty grip the world. Financial markets would crash, plunging the global economy into chaos. The delicate balance of power between nations would be shattered, potentially leading to further conflict and instability. The environmental consequences of nuclear war would be felt for generations. 
Radioactive contamination would persist in the environment for decades, poisoning water sources, soil, and the food chain. The long-term effects on human health, including cancer and genetic mutations, would be devastating. The urgency of now, a call for action. The horrors of nuclear war are not inevitable. We have the power to choose a different path, one that leads away from the brink of annihilation and towards a future where such weapons are relegated to the dustbin of history. This requires a fundamental shift in our thinking, a recognition that security in the nuclear age cannot be achieved through military might alone. We must embrace diplomacy, dialogue, and cooperation as the only viable means of preventing nuclear catastrophe. The time for complacency is long gone. The threat of nuclear war is real, and the consequences of inaction are too great to comprehend. We must demand that our leaders prioritize nuclear disarmament and invest in diplomacy, not destruction. Section 8. The path to a world free of nuclear weapons will not be easy, but it is a journey we must undertake. It requires sustained effort, unwavering commitment, and the courage to challenge the status quo. We must work to strengthen international treaties aimed at reducing and eventually eliminating nuclear arsenals. We must invest in diplomacy and conflict resolution, addressing the root causes of tension and mistrust between nations. We must also engage in public education and awareness-raising campaigns, reminding the world of the horrors of nuclear war and the urgent need for disarmament. The future of humanity depends on our collective action. Let us choose wisely.